Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone. So we're here for another video, and this time we're going to talk about the importance of upgrading your accessories. So whenever it comes to catching the higher level fish, the accessories is going to be the most important part because if you just focusing on leveling and not developing your accessories, you will find yourself in high level fishing spots where you cannot catch the fish because you're just not inflicting enough damage. So first we're going to go into our tackle box and then in the top left you will see your accessory next to your fishing rod and you will see the four main parts that make up your accessory which is going to be your critical damage, critical rate, accuracy, and health points. The higher level your critical damage, the higher value numbers you will see in bold red which indicates you have inflicted critical damage on the fish. Every time you hold down your finger and release it while trying to catch a fish, there's a chance you will inflict critical damage onto the fish. The higher level your critical rate is, the higher the chance you will inflict critical damage. For higher level fish, you would need a higher level critical rate in order for this to occur. If you're ever trying to catch a fish and you notice that you see the word miss on the bottom, this is due to your accuracy not being in high enough level. So in order to make sure that you can inflict damage on all fish, you want to make sure that your accuracy level is up. Right around the Amazon fishing spot, you will notice that as you're catching fish, your HP will slowly start to decrease. In order to make sure you have enough health points to catch a fish, and you don't run out of health, you want to make sure to level up the HP element in your accessory. Your HP is especially helpful whenever you are participating in King of Fish with your guild because that will give you more time to inflict damage. In order for you to upgrade each accessory, you're going to need to make sure you have enough pearl powder as well as gold in order to level up the accessory. To obtain more pearl powder, you're going to want to go into your pearls and then disassemble pearls which will allow you to receive a range of pearl powder. The higher grade and the more rare the pearl is meaning if it's a regular pearl a gold pearl or a black pearl you will get the most pearl powder out of the black pearls once you select a given amount of pearls and choose to disassemble them a range of pearl powder in which you may receive will be shown once disassembled you will then receive an amount that is randomly generated through the game once you have the required pearl powder you can then use that and gold to upgrade your accessory. As you can see there's actually a maximum level in which you can raise your accessories to and you can raise this cap through super boosting. Whenever you super boost your max level will increase by 20 levels and you would also increase everything by 10 levels. In order to super boost you would need silver scale which is randomly acquired while you are fishing and it is also given by catching all three fish in the time attack mission. Depending on the rarity of the fish would determine how many silver scales you will obtain. You can also watch advertisements. You are also going to want to make sure that you are utilizing your researchers and sending them out as much as possible. When it comes to the golden thorns, these are acquired through wild and hidden fish. So every time you catch one of these fish, there's a small chance you will get a golden thorn. When sending out your researchers, this is also a chance for you to obtain golden thorns as well. And through your guild's point battle is another way for you to acquire those golden thorns. Titanium dust will probably be the easiest material for you to obtain. Once again, your researchers will be able to acquire this as you send them out, but through disassembling metal items, such as the metal surf reel, the metal spin reel, and the metal bait reel, you are going to want to first make sure that these rods or reels are powered up to level five. By bringing them up to level five, this will ensure you are able to obtain the most titanium dust compared to the different levels. So the higher level the rod or reel, the more titanium dust you can acquire. However, past level 5 is when you're spending more money with little change to the amount of titanium dust. As you can see, whenever you're disassembling these equipment, it's also a great way for you to receive black pearls. Aquamarines will probably be the hardest for you to acquire. Although you can get them through your researchers and guild point battles, the treasure chest is going to be your most reliable way to get these aquamarines. The rate of aquamarines will be higher with the rare pearl box, and it won't be as high as the shiny pearl box. But when it comes to the shiny pearl box, you can use gold to open the box. So as you can see we just spent 5 million gold to open up the golden pearl box 100 times. You would typically get one or two aquamarines when opening the golden pearl box 100 times. That's all we have today when it comes to leveling up your accessories. So always remember to focus on this especially if you're a higher level player. Thank you guys for requesting this video and I really hope it helps with improving your game. Until then I'll see you all next time.